So in this video, we're going to be talking about YouTube. YouTube is the platform that I love at times, and is also a platform that I hate at times. But the thing we're going to be talking about in this video about YouTube is a very bad decision they made regarding the dislike button. Now, I'm not sure if all you guys noticed this, because it's just spreading across the mobile devices. But the dislike button is now gone. You can no longer see how much dislikes a video has. Now, like I said, like I just said, only some accounts can have this because it's not really on everyone's account yet. But on my second account, if I go to a video, I can't see how many dislikes that video has. But on my main account, I can still see the dislikes. I think YouTube is just beginning it and eventually it will spread for everyone's. So in this video, I'm basically going to be sharing my thoughts on this and why I think that this is a very bad decision YouTube made. Now, according to YouTube themselves, their reason for doing this is because apparently there are lots of trolls on YouTube who basically attack content creators with multiple accounts and use it to dislike their videos. I don't see this as a good enough reason for YouTube to do all this because just because a couple trolls on YouTube are attacking content creators, that doesn't mean that you have to disable the dislike button for everyone. Another thing is that content creators already have the option to make their like and dislike count private so no one can see what it is. People can already do that, so what's the point of removing the dislike button automatically for everyone? So if trolls are really attacking content creators, they can just make their likes and dislikes private so that no one can see how many dislikes there are. Another reason why this was a very bad decision that YouTube made is because dislikes help determine if a video is actually telling the truth or not. A lot of times I'm going through YouTube looking for a guide on how to do something, I usually look at the likes and dislikes first. If there are lots of dislikes and I can already assume that the video is false, and I click off of it. Now I'm not going to be able to do that anymore, I'm going to have to watch the whole video before I know if it's false or not. So that's what I don't like about this new change that they're making. Dislikes help determine if a video is telling the truth or not, or if it's not clickbait. So that's why I think that YouTube should reverse this decision that they made too. So guys, the third reason I have on why YouTube should not remove the dislikes is because that pretty much gives it no purpose. If you're gonna make the dislike button view count private, then what's the point of even having a dislike button then if you're not gonna be able to see how many dislikes there are? I'm just saying, if you're not going to be able to see how many dislikes a video has anymore, YouTube should just go ahead and remove the dislike button entirely, because there's going to be no point of it if you can't see how many dislikes there are. But besides those three reasons, those are pretty much the only three reasons I have on why I think this is a bad decision YouTube is making. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this decision YouTube is making, if you think that is good or bad. And I'm also going to put a community tab post after this video goes up where you can vote if this was a bad decision or if it was a good decision. So make sure to vote on that when I put it up after this video. But anyway, besides that, this is going to be pretty much everything for this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.